Hi, it's uh, Greg Braille from Sonoa. We're working on another video blog series here. We're going to be focusing on security, especially around cloud security. Uh, we have with us Ryan Bagnolo. He's from Aspect Eye. He's an integration and, uh, and security architect. And we're going to speak about security topics, but we're going to speak especially about cloud security, cloud services, um, things like tokens and personal identifiable information. It's a whole raft of things we can talk about. Um, but I wonder if you could just get us started out and tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about how you got involved in security in integration and also with the cloud. Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, cloud's definitely a, a hot uh, buzzword in 2009, and I think one of the main reasons for that is um, the economic uh, state of the union right now and uh, the efficiencies that uh, cloud computing promises. I think another reason for all the talk about cloud right now is uh, it's a natural evolution of distributed computing. And I think CIOs are waking up to the fact that the uh, power expenses being at 60% of their overall IT spend um, and their full data centers and the fact that they're running out of rack space and that their data centers are overheating, they're looking at alternative and creative solutions to building business applications that are run on top of IT that don't necessarily need to be inside their own data center walls in order to reduce their capital expenses and their operational expenses. Absolutely. We've heard from one of our customers, it's a very large one, that uh, power is actually the number one thing they consider when they roll out a new service. It's yes. not how much it's going to cost to buy the licenses or to run the people, but how much it's going to cost to run the tens and hundreds of thousands of machines they need. Right. So, a little bit more of my background, I specialize in grid computing in 2003 when I was with IBM. I spent about 12 years with IBM. In 2003, IBM had a uh, emerging business opportunity called grid computing, and I championed uh, the global services community of practice around launching grid as a new business for IBM. And that got me into the challenges around high-performance computing and power and cooling is one of the major challenges with high-performance computing because of the number of devices that you're right. dealing with in a grid. And clouds are a natural evolution of grid computing and services-oriented architecture together. Right. That's Yeah, That's it's a great point that we need to combine both of those in order to get the goal. That's the goal. Right. Now, some of the, the folks you've been working with um, who have been deploying the cloud what are some of the challenges that they've, that they've seen about, um, not just the security, though we're certainly going to talk about that, but just in general challenges people run into when they try to deploy cloud computing and take advantage of this highly scalable, you know, potentially infinitely scalable infrastructure that they have to use? Well, one of the uh, first challenges is uh, trust. Mm -hmm. So do I trust that the administrator of the cloud resources that I'm using uh, is trustworthy? Or do I know that he's trustworthy? Um, do you know that they don't have some backdoor way yeah, to get is, to your data? Is there a backdoor to the database? Even if I encrypt it, do they have the keys to decrypt it? Do they have the power to decrypt it? Because they have so many resources. Encryption has been broken. And uh, we've, we've even heard uh, from uh, security experts in the field in the past year that SHA-1 has been cracked. And so we can't simply rely on the fact that even though my data is encrypted, that, uh, that it's safe. If you have infinite computing resources available, you might be able to crack all kinds of things. Yes. Right? So, so that's one of the first inhibitors is it depends on the data set. So if you're dealing with a confidential data set, protected uh, information, personally identifiable information, uh, e-fi, electronic protected health information, uh, you might have some resistance from your risk department at the enterprise before they allow you to deploy that use case on a cloud. So the early adopters of the cloud are people that are dealing with data sets that are not confidential data sets, where the risk of, of uh, a breach in that data set is relatively low. It's public data already. News is a great use case for cloud. Um, public market data. Right. historical uh, financial transactions, what has occurred on the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange, this information has to be shared anyway, and cloud's a great place to put it. Mm -hmm. With that, I think we'll actually take a short break, and uh, we're going to move on a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit more about personal data and how you can help protect that.